5 Things That Every UFC Fan Needs To Know About Cyril Gain Cyril Gain, a UFC heavyweight, has quickly reached the top of the organization's heavyweight ranks. Let's take a look at 5 things UFC fans should know about Cyril Gain before his upcoming fight. Number 5. Before joining the UFC, Cyril Gain worked as a wooden furniture salesman. Cyril Gain used to overpay for furniture before deciding to start a career in boxing. The 31-year-old chose a job as a salesman in France after earning a degree in marketing and management. Soon after, he developed a deep interest in martial arts and began participating professionally in the sport. It wasn't until 2018 that Gain participated in mixed martial arts. Three years later, he is regarded as one of the UFC's most talented guys. Bond Gammon realized he was made for the fight game while he was in his 20s. Number 4. Francis Ngannou, the current UFC heavyweight champion, used to be Cyril Gain's partner. Cyril Gain and Francis Ngannou were teammates at the MMA factory, where they were both trained by Fernand Lopez. The two fighters have trained together a few times, which will help Gain know what to expect from Ngannou if they ever fight. Gain is currently separated from Ngannou and has shown interest in fighting the killer on several occasions. Number 3. Cyril Gain explains his nickname Bone Gaiman. MMA fans, according to Gain, connect with a fighter's nickname. As a result, joining the MMA, he picked the name Bone Gaiman. In a recent video released by the UFC, Gain explains the origins of his nickname. Quote, I know I'm a good guy, he said. Every time I want to love, I want to dance, but I enjoy fighting a war. I'd say babyface or good kids or anything along these lines. Bone Gaiman, we're a bunch of idiots. It's a nickname in French, but that's ideal. Number 2. Cyril Gain holds a strong ground game. Cyril Gain is one of the most well-rounded heavyweight boxers in the UFC. Bone Gaiman is not just a good player, but he's also a dangerous ground fighter. In his MMA career, Gain has had three submission victories, two of which came in the UFC. Rafael Pessoa was the French fighter's first submission victory in the promotion. In the first round of the battle, Gain submitted Pessoa with a one-arm triangle choke. His next fight against Don Talley Meyers ended with the 31-year-old winning via foot catch submission in the third round. Number 1. Cyril Gain is a 5-round fighter One of the reasons for Gain's outstanding performance at the UFC Vegas 30 is that he only started his professional career three years ago, in August of 2018. Before making his UFC start, the French fighter had only fought three times professionally. Bon Gaiman has won all of his fights and has a perfect MMA record of 9-0. Cyril Gain has proven in his two fights against Rosenstruik and Volkov that he holds the gas tank required to fight full five rounds. This is a rare quality in a heavyweight fighter, as the majority of them lose out after the first few rounds. What are your thoughts on today's video? Please leave your suggestions in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for joining in.